Hello, I'm Guru Scott. Today we're going to do my first oil change on my Suzuki GSX 1250FA. And in the manual, it doesn't give you the drain plug torque. So um, we looked it up on the internet, and the best advice we can find is 23 Newton meters. That sounds pretty reasonable, so I wrote it into my book. And to do this job, you need a 17 millimeter hex socket. It's best if you use this kind so it doesn't round the plug. The drain plug, so I'm going to use that to take the, take it loose. I have a Newton meter torque wrench over here made by Snap-on that I'll use to tighten it up. I'll put some three bond on it when I get ready to tighten it up. I have some brand new Suzuki gaskets. I'll give you the part numbers on those. And for the oil filter, I have the special Suzuki oil filter removal tool. And of course, I have a Suzuki oil filter. And four quarts of oil, it holds 3.7, so um, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, see how that works out. I got a funnel and a few other items. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, the drain plug's under here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it loose and let the dr um, oil drain out. So we'll get started on that, we'll be right back. Okay, we uh, came across an interesting issue. The dealer had sold me some crush washers that he said were for the Suzuki 1250. These are way too small. Not only that, when I took the original washer off, I had to pry it up slightly with uh, screwdrivers very carefully not to damage the plug part. Then I had to grab it with a pair of water pump pliers like this and unscrew it. So I'm thinking now that Suzuki never intended for this to be replaced, that you use the same one over and over again. So I'm going to have to order another drain plug with gasket attached. So lesson to the wise. I'll do some research on it. I didn't see anything in the manual or anything, no, nothing mentioned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gasket off of my Suzuki automobile. So I have it on here. It's not a perfect fit, but pretty close. And I put some tri-bond on here to seal it. So I'm going to put this in and torque it down and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to remove the filter. And the manual says to take of this fairing off. I don't see why because it's going to make a mess no matter what you do. It's going to drip down because it's mounted sideways and hopefully I'll catch it mostly in the oil pan and I'll put some uh, paper towels down there to help catch it. So I'm going to take it loose and I'll be right back. Okay, in order to get the filter loose we tried every trick I could think of. I have every kind of wrench you can imagine from S-shaped obstruction wrenches to C or U-shaped obstruction wrenches. And we did follow the instructions. We took this left side off. And um, so we ended up using the Suzuki tool and putting the obstruction wrench on it. And it says uh, that that filter should only be on, put on with a few Newton meters. We almost had to break it loose with a breaker bar. It was so tight on there. I don't know if that's from age, sitting in the shop or what, but um, I went ahead and used this tool to get it loose, and now it's at the point where I can turn it by hand, so I'm gonna take it the rest of the way loose, and I'm going to um, take it off and clean the area around it, do a good inspection to make sure nothing weird's going on there. And then I will put some oil on the new gasket and install the new filter, but I'll show you that when we get to that point. There's just no room to work in here at all. It's, it's unbelievable. And um, you may also have to use a strap wrench for this operation. Okay, so we're gonna do that and we'll be right back. Okay, we have the filter loose enough now to where it's starting to drip oil. And I don't know how Suzuki, Suzuki comes up with these designs because on our Grand Vitara, it's practically the same thing. But the oil drips down all over the exhaust pipes, so obviously I'm gonna have to clean them really well with some clean wipes and some alcohol to get all that oil residue off once I take the filter off and put a new one on. But I'm just gonna let you know, man, this is a real bear of a job. Now, if you take it to a shop and have them do it, unless you're really comfortable with a mechanic, I'm guessing most mechanics probably just blow this off and just don't even change the filter. So I'm gonna make sure I do this right, change the filter, and then we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've installed the new filter. The manual gives you a torque setting. There's no way to get a torque wrench in there. Even if I had put a crow's foot wrench on it, which I have, 
Still can't get in there to use a torque wrench. So what I did was I put the special uh, oil filter adapter on and used a 17 millimeter wrench and snugged it up real good and snug. I tried to do it by feel from the way I've done oil changes in the past. I'd like to use a torque wrench, but realistically, I don't think there's any way it's possible unless Suzuki has a special tool. Also, getting that filter in, you have to squeeze this, uh, this hose here to get the filter through here. It's the only place we could find to get in or out. Really, not a real great design. Um, and like I said, on our Suzuki Grand Vitara, same issue. I don't know why the Japanese engineers can't get it together with uh, oil filter changes. So the good news is I won't have to change the filter for quite some time. And um, what I'll do is now I'm going to put three quarts of oil in. It takes 3.7, but I'm going to put three quarts in and just start it up. I'll put three and a half, actually. I'll start it up and see if there's any leaks before I put all this stuff back on, because if there's a leak, I want to catch it right now. So we're gonna do that, we'll be right back. Okay, at this point, we well, ran the motorcycle for about five or six minutes, made sure there was no leaks. I actually did kind of re-snug up the oil filter slightly after it got warmed up. Just again, just good and snug. I don't know how to tell you how tight that is because it's by feel. Um, so I don't see any leaks there. We also had cleaned the exhaust pipes before we started it. And then um, after I ran it for a few minutes, I turned it off, let it settle, and then I added the additional oil to bring it all the way up to the full line with the motorcycle level. This actually is the most difficult oil change I've ever done in my entire life. And I hope I don't have to do this again anytime soon. Um, obviously changing just the oil without the filter, piece of cake. Filter, wow, that's tough. So in follow-up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look up and see if Suzuki sells those oil filter plug gaskets separately, if not, I'm gonna assume that it's a one piece unit gasket plus plug and you don't pull the gasket off. If there's any Suzuki mechanics out there that can tell us, that would be greatly appreciated so that I don't have to worry about that again. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is, um, if it's true that it does have the built in gasket, I'll order another plug and on the next oil change, I'll restore it back to exact original because I like to make everything exactly like the factory wants it to be. So that's pretty much it. Good luck if you do this yourself. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of tools and I have pretty much every tool available to any mechanic and I struggled with this job. So I feel like it was done very correctly except possibly having to use a copper gasket for the drain plug. That's no big deal. I mean, that's, that's something that I can live with. Um, at least until I can get the right part. So we're going to put it all back together and thanks for watching.